guys, it's Globonic, and I'm a small YouTuber trying to grow. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm in a collab with my friend ZS11. So, guys, if you don't mind, can you subscribe to my channel? It wouldn't be bad. And plus, subscribe to ZS11's channel if you don't mind. So, guys, I make tutorials and I'm trying to do a collab with ZS11. So, my topic is how to make a amazing watermark so without any further ado, further ado let's go in pixel lab over here in pixel lab we have to go over here, here in text and write your name channel's name so i'm just gonna write a name for example and now i have to do is go to font and the links will, of the font will be and down below it's call me Cax. and what you have to do to make it better is but give a space after um, and before the text and what you have to do is increase the size a bit as much as possible so it looks better click on export the image and click on save to gallery now you have to go to PS touch you have to click on that and to open a blank project and the size will be 2048 and the height will be 1152 and click on OK and this is gonna appear so get your banner template to as fast as possible so I'm just gonna go and get my banner template it's right over there so yeah after I get my banner template what you have to do is really simple go in this uh, marquee selection tool and select the middle part right that and click on clear after you're done select that after uh, select this layer and click on the plus button and go on photo layer and you have to do is get this paper background links will be down below so I'm just gonna get this paper background right there and make sure you increase the size and make it like this okay now you have to duplicate this layer uh, just for your work for later and now what you have to go to your what you have to call it is pixel lab a folder named pixel lab go be there click on that and get your text right there and after you've done that I'll make it a bit bigger and place it at the middle and now what you have to do is select a pixel for doing this step you have to watch my another video the links will be down below for that video for making gradients that I did click on gradient and a link to it down below from a tutorial on how to make this gradient I'll take it like this and keep it right over there now what you have to do is select a pixel again and now select the paper background and then click on extract and after you've done go in effects and drop the shadow of the paper background and drop the shadow of the one that you made so the gradient text the blur should be 9 so now what you have to do is click on um, move the gradient text right like here like this and you're done so now what you have to do is um, merge them down and up you're pretty much done now uh, so click on this lasso selection tool and you have to do is click on this paper layer and just cut a bit of that and click on that plus button right there and click cut this part now and after you've done that click on clear and after you clicked on clear click on empty layer take it after after the layer a uh, paper background and click on gradient and take this gradient now you click on this uh, paper background layer and click on drop shadow your blur should be 18 percent and now what you have to do is uh take it a bit smaller and keep it right there and now what you can do is go over here and select the mark Q tool selection tool again go and make a select a triangle and make sure you take a empty layer go on that and and click on gradient after you took gradient click on fx go on artistic and go in color drops and you have to take this um okay now that's okay so you can actually do is to make it small and do um is uh try to make it a bit bigger like this one and now what you have to do is go and go in the paint tool 
in the paint tool you can do is um, another thing you have to do is click on photo layer you have to get your banner template again so you can assure that your banner looks better on phone and PC place it right over there and now what you have to do is click on that and click on the marquee selection tool again select this part and yes, this part and click on clear and after you have done that you'll get a vision how it, it will look so it looks quite fine guys it doesn't actually look bad now what you can do is click on an empty layer go to the paint tool your color you can select it from here and your brush should be like this harden should be the max as possible a 72 is okay and now what you can do is go over here and um, actually draw some arrows right there and um, do hey guys sorry for that click on empty layer and you have to go before your text and now you have to click on brush and it should be 5 is okay harden should be 47 and the color can be the outline like this ash color and now you have to really zoom in and do this really properly so you have to make an outline so it's gonna be a bit hard so I'm just gonna do it like that so make sure you take your time in this and you can do it peacefully then and plus it will be better uh, so you can just keep it right there there you go guys so you're done it looks um, really um, actually uh, for magnum backgrounds it's fine so keep it like that and now you have your pretty much you have your amazing background you can do is um, if you're not satisfied you can just uh, take the arrow there and uh, you can just set things to default again I'll put your uh, size to 38 select the color and so now what you have to do is you can go um, to make it a bit smaller so get you can get this out of section what you can do is draw a arrow right there and write actually write is okay go back if you're like go and click on an empty layer and you can just remove this and write sub properly right there and now you have to get that layer again get this make it a bit smaller keep it right there so it looks really good um, it looks really fine and now what you have to do is remove this background and now you have to work on the other ones what you can do is click on empty layer and just write follow over here sorry guys for my disgusting handwriting because you cannot actually write on the screen properly okay just what keep it right of there and you should actually write an arrow and you have to like it looks good it doesn't look bad and now what you have to do is you can write things right over here for example you can um what you tell you can do is idea so you can do is click on brush now and make it really smaller for example 18 and uh just you can do is make these scribblings around uh, make sure you do them perfectly because um and i think the size should be nine is okay 
click on empty layer and just do it in this way so it's okay now what you have to do is just um okay so for that guys okay now you're done so your banner is pretty much done what you have to do is now you have to um, get your text so this text that you made you have to uh, duplicate the layer so sorry for that I just duplicated it in T layer click on the text and click on duplicate layer take it after the paper background take it after the gradient background and decrease the opacity and take your text there and you can just uh, place it there so it looks better so you can just do is uh, do the same thing again oh if the if this happens to you you can do is merge down some of the scribblings that we did it won't actually matter of fact because it looks um, it, it's, it looks fine so we don't have to do anything with it again so duplicate the, the layer again and try to put it right over there now what you can do is add some screenshots of your channel uh, sc uh, taking screenshots is uh, actually your job so I'm adding screenshots of uh, a random channel because um, I have um, I have uh, some screenshots of my channel so I can actually add them uh, so it's actually your wish whether you want to add screenshots because um, I'm just gonna add a normal screenshot of my channel uh, doing something right there uh, so it's actually your choice which uh, screenshot you want to put um, it's um, you have to take a screenshot of your channel so that will be better so you have to duplicate the screenshot you can do is duplicate the screenshot and take it like right over there and it looks fine so there you go guys you have this amazing banner now what you have to do is unselect the banner template go over here and click on merge vid visible and it's gonna take a bit of moments for a um, bit of while you can just wait and now what you have to do is click on this uh, banner template and click on select pixel and now you have to click on uh, the layer that we just merged down click on clear and now you're done uh, now you have to click on photo layer go back and get your paper uh, let paper again so get your paper layer again so I'm just gonna get my paper layer so it's gonna take a bit of while cuz uh, make sure you, it's in a certificate folder where you can find it soon and it doesn't actually take that much of time cuz it took me a lot of time finding folders and uh, make sure it will be easy for you if you understand the pain and do it yourself so there you go guys I have found it now you have to do is make it a bit bigger okay just keep it right there and take the banner before your paper and now you have to just um, give the opacity a blur to 27 and you're done guys so it, I think it looks really cool now you just have to go back and click on this arrow and click on save and it's save guys so now what you have to do is uh, actually export the image so you have to go to the top click on save to gallery and click on that and there you go guys so guys thank you for watching this video if you did like don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and uh, comment down below did you like the banner and see you later